to another video. My name is Michael and I make weekly videos on sports science. In today's video, we're looking at how we can create dynamic images within Power BI to filter by athlete. So the first step in our project is extracting the names, roster position, and the URL to the athlete's profile picture. We're using uh, the Seattle Seahawks. We're just picking the first eight guys off the roster. So when we come to the website, we're gonna uh, take their name, their position, and then their image. So to get their image URL, we just simply right click. You're gonna hit copy uh, image address, and then we're gonna paste all of our information into an Excel document. Um, so when we look at that Excel document here, we see that we have the athlete's name, their position, and then a link to their URL. Uh, after we've done that, we're gonna import it into our Power BI dashboard. That way we can utilize it within the dashboard itself. To import our data into Power BI, we're gonna hit the Excel workbook button at the top. We're gonna load our Seahawks roster data. And once we've done it, it will show us in the model view right here. We see our sheet here, and we can also look under the data view to make sure that the data has transferred correctly. Now, the first step in creating our dashboard is creating a slicer. Uh, the slicer is going to give us the roster name. So we'll create our slicer, and we'll click and drag the name to the field, and it automatically comes up as a list. Uh, we can change that. We can come over here under Build Visual, and we're going to look at the slicer settings and we're going to create a drop down. Uh, this way we can kind of condense the visualization. That way we're saving space within our dashboard. Now the visualization that creates the dynamic images within our dashboard is not automatically loaded in our visualizations pane. So we're going to have to add it. Uh, so we're going to hit the three buttons right here. Select get more visuals. And we're looking for the images by cloud scope. So we'll search images by image by cloud scope, select it, and it'll have a button that says add or download, and you can add it directly to your Power BI dashboard. So from there, we're gonna add our image by cloud scope visualization here. Uh, we're going to expand it just a little bit more and get the spacing right. And now we're going to need the image URL. So we're going to pull uh, the URL to the image URL. And then under image title, you can put the athlete name. And now our visualization is interactive and it's dynamic with the slicer that we've created. So under our name panel here, we can select the athlete's name and it's going to uh, adjust and it's going to be dynamic with that slicer and the images. So we can look at different athletes within our dashboard. Uh, so this is great if we are looking at uh, maybe something like GPS data or tracking uh, weight room data. We can have that data imported in the dashboard itself, and then we can look uh, from an athlete to athlete perspective how each athlete is responding to their training. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Thanks.